welcome to blender meter for another tutorial uh, this time in this tutorial we are going to learn something about uh, textures uh, baking textures inside blender well baking textures inside blender can be very useful in uh, occasions where we have to use uh, multiple textures over a single object um, in those kind of situations you know we got to keep uh, creating lot of textures and uh, uh, working with the blending modes changes that you know you get uh, crazy and you just get irritated sometimes and just throw away things and get out of the place okay so uh, there's a much easier way to do that in blender and that is called uh, baking the textures okay so you could uh, use a couple of uh, textures uh, blend them and uh, use them in a particular object okay bake them out and use the same texture as a single texture onto another object in blender and maybe use another uh, blend another texture to that uh, second object like along with the baked texture uh, so it uh, your work uh, becomes very easy uh, i'm not sure sure whether you <coughs> would have uh, understood what i'm uh, trying to tell you but uh, as you watch uh, through this tutorial maybe things become clear for you Okay, let's start right away. Delete this cube. My default scene. Okay. Uh, select the camera. Go to the front view. Control Alt Zero would bring it to the front view. Okay. One. Control Alt Zero. Would, um, five. Okay, one five control all zero bring it to the what happened? Okay. Just move it down a little bit, okay. So it's in the front view, question my camera, fine save it save it save it save it it's all that important baking. I call it texture baking okay so camera setup okay now I'm gonna create an object here maybe this simple object okay, this simple Taurus just bring it up and align it with the grid floor so it looks exactly right okay just create a plane and scale it up so it covers the grid area and give a nice okay now just going splitting up the view changing this to a uv okay i'm going to unwrap this torus okay you don't have to um, smooth it if you want to smooth it you can smooth it not a necessity now for this case okay so go into the edit mode select all the vertices okay i'm going to go into the top view and my using my favorite unwrapping option Okay, press U to bring up the untrap menu and just project from U bounds and I got a I don't need a very uh, detailed uh, UV for this just simple UV just untrap it that is the main objective okay now come back we have untrapped it okay now go into the camera view okay shift D duplicate it okay now press G and X and just move it here again shift d g x mode here yeah, okay now i have a three torus okay with the same uv okay this is very 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 uh, important okay because uh, we are going to apply the texture based on the uvs okay okay now select the first torus go into the material tab add a new material, rename it as 01 nothing 
uh, fancy about the material settings go into the texture okay add a new texture okay stick with clouds open the colors add some colors basically it's going to be black and white okay just a black and white and uh, come here set it to UV and uh, it's uh, up to you we need to uh, nothing uh, fancy here nothing specific as to uh, the settings here it's up to you okay. whatever you want you can basically do it here I go into this just take a simple render okay okay lighting go to the top view select the light bring it here yes bring it down you have a good lighting okay there's an amount of lighting falling on the objects okay let's continue so set it to uv okay influencing the color right good okay now going up i'm going to add another texture to this we have a cloud texture which is already being added here now just set up the checker box just below to this uh, texture now, uh, let's call this close okay now just click on this and say new and we get another now just all this wood i'm going to add a wood texture to this so click on this and you have a wood texture to this immediately you come i don't want this so again i'm going to add colors and this time i'm going to use some colors again it's up to you you can do anything click on this arrow mark and it just selects the next color in the color ram maybe add a little bit of color adds a simple color and if you want to add more colors you know you could just click on this add button and just adds colors and maybe you can add some more colors okay make it more uh, <coughs> colorful okay go on colors delete is going to delete the colors flip is going to basically flip the colors flip the ramp you know so okay fine come here um, okay setting this to global okay would give me a different kind of a, uh, output maybe I'll stick to movie never need uh, okay okay just come out close these colors okay you could just play around with the settings do whatever you want generated is going to give us a different kind of a okay it's basically something which you can do okay okay let's not waste time in this okay okay now maybe this can influence the color as well as the bump you get a little bit of bump a bump of the normal value up to five get some good nice bump i don't think i need a bump okay stick to this okay and uh, maybe add another texture and this i'm going to call it as blend because the type is going to be blend blend is basically a uh, gradient uh, fill of colors as a texture okay just open up colors ramp okay maybe use some color i'm not very particular about the colors so just just making it more you know colorful um, alpha is all up okay this changes to vertical so that it goes from bottom to top okay maybe uv just uh, okay we have this fine okay just coming down 
put even and range the intensity okay maybe stick to color and just change the blending mode okay we have a far nice maybe overlay should work okay we have a multiple uh, colors maybe screen this was my favorite and gives me some nice you know you could uh, basically do anything you want okay you have all these different shades and different things simple add would also give us okay just again uh, how you want it okay just color I'm just playing around with the different blending options trying to get a nice uh, color okay 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 just screen is too lighten okay just stick to this okay so now here as you can see we have a blend of all the uh, three textures that we have created okay now i want to convert this into a single a texture file and apply it on this torus and maybe on this torus and blend it with some other textures i get my point okay so let's try that okay just do remember that all the three torus objects are sharing the same uv okay now how to do this just save it okay you now you see i have all these three options here now select the torus go into the render settings okay and just take some of the values here the resolution make it 100% so that we get a, a nice uh, high resolution based okay just split up the window and go into the uv okay tab and you have the okay just uh, see that you are viewing the uv map and drag here okay so bump up this to 100% come down go to save this uh, where do i save this okay never bother go to save it from the uv image editor window oh, that's it so i'm going to save this as a png file so if you want you can save it as a jpeg uh, it's up to you again you can do whatever you want uh, i'll just stick to png default format in blender okay now let's bump up this to 100% okay come down all the way down here and you find an option called bake open up click on this arrow and open opens up the baking options inside this bake mode okay you click here and you have the options called textures this is going to bake only the textures okay textures selected okay now okay before clicking on this bake okay you just go to image okay new image and uh, just bake texture nothing fancy about this name you can give anything okay and uh, that's a new image called bake okay now i'm going to bake this hopefully it finishes fast otherwise i have to put on to it. okay so it's rather really fast you, you see i have this texture baked here onto the uv okay uh now go to image i'm going to save this as a image save as image go into my directory okay and basically i'm going to save this as a png you can even change it here if you want okay if you have uh, alpha enabled you want to use this image in a alpha and a transparency based texturing you can choose this or it can be rgb ugb it's all up to you the way you change here okay i'm just going to stick it to the default values and just give it a name here the same name i gave it here map okay big texture map big texture map sorry for that big texture map just save it okay now it's saved uh, fine 
just come out of edit mode close this okay mm, just now we select the okay so it's the same i want to select the next uh, torus come add a new material okay nothing to do with the material go into the texture add a new texture change it to image or movie open up and map that big texture dot png here and since the uv is the same and that's why as soon as i unwrap the uv i duplicated and place the objects wherever i wanted and how many ever copies i wanted i have just duplicated them so that all of the objects share the same uv okay so i have just attached this image now you see this uh, the earlier which had three images three textures applied to this store as now comes inside this particular object as a single texture map okay just change this to uv okay okay influences the color okay now you have the same texture applied here so what do i do now just go up here click here add a new texture uh what do you want okay stick with clouds okay maybe add a thing to that just change it in this to uv or global global uh, basically distributes the, the texture from starting from the bottom to the top of the object but i don't know stick this to uv influences the color you want to influence take this as a bump map show it now you see you have this okay maybe there's too much of bump all right okay Changing this to global, it was a different kind of a, you know. Hopefully, you follow what I'm trying to tell you. So you see, you get a different. Okay, maybe push it up. Okay, we keep on adding more textures. You know, maybe something like this add some colors maybe let's jump on to the next color add some color okay come down here change the settings you all know all these things i don't have to tell you just you know just setting uv maybe screen screen divide child you know you see all you get all kinds of fancy stuff here maybe this influences the intensity you get more intensity um well that's up to you and basically i think you follow the concept here being done so baking tutorials and um, okay textures you know he's going to really very very helpful very very useful thanks for watching i am sure this is going to be very helpful to you use it as much as you want experiment try out different things come up with good results thanks for watching